Hello everyone, welcome back to Hogs Hello, my name is Adam Smith and I've got excitement on the game table today in the form of a prototype for Tainted Grail Kings of Ruin. This is landing on crowdfunding in late September. I will be placing the dates in the video description and pinned comment. For those of you that have been around the channel for a while, you'll remember I covered the original prototype of Tainted Grail back in the day and I've covered it even beyond this when it went to full production and also going into a digital format as well even. And now we're here again Again, with Tainted Grail, this is going to be really exciting to revisit this as I've heard there is a number of changes to the rule base in terms of what people are used to from the original one. So it's going to be exciting to go through that with you as part of a Game Found preview series here on the channel, which will be coming up. This video is going to focus on solely just taking a look through all the components that come inside this prototype box. So know right away that everything here is subject to change and of course is not final, but we will be doing a Game Found preview series here on the channel, which will give you a great idea as to how the game operates and flows to help you make that informed decision as to whether or not this is for you. So without further ado, let's dig into this box. Opening up the box for the very first time, inside this prototype there was a whole bunch of bubble wrap. I've removed a lot of that, so that has really opened up a lot of space in here. And as you'd expect with the prototype, this is only a snippet of what the final game will be. This is the norm for all prototypes. So the first thing we've got here is a rule book to look at. So we're going to go ahead and go through a number of those pages, as I know there's a bunch of people interested in some of the changes that are coming with this. Here's a look inside of the rulebook. Again, I'll remind you that this is all subject to change. Even mentions prototype rulebook up here, work in progress. We've got narration over here, the top left, which is a little bit hard to see. I'll zoom in on that in a second so you can actually read it if you'd like. We got a table of contents, a component list here that goes through everything that's inside this box. Here's a quick zoom in at that narrative section in the top left hand corner. So if you wish to read this, feel free to pause the screen now and take a look through. Here we have a look at the introduction for the game. We have the simple gameplay overview over here, how to use the rule book, and then it talks about the components overview in terms of how things are laid out. It has a whole bunch of highlighted areas over here on the right, letting you know where things are like item decks and death and insanity cards and just everything in terms of how it's arranged in front of you as you play through the game. For those interested, here is a closer look at this page as well. And I also imagine there's a lot of people interested in seeing the gameplay overview and how this rulebook is being used, golden rules, things like that. As we continue along, we see the campaign setup over here, breaking down the character setup, the world setup, and of course how things look based on Roman numerals for each of these setup pieces on the game table. And right after that, you start getting into the core rules of the game, how the game is actually played, how it's broken down. So you have the order of the day over here. You have the start of day, during the day. You have the end of day all laid out here. And the rule book is going to continue in this fashion throughout, going through all the core rules you can expect to find in the game. Again, prototype form, subject to change, but you'll be seeing a lot of this in action in my Game Found preview series. And a close-up here of the back of the rulebook, once you get towards it, it's around 24 to 25 pages in terms of this prototype rulebook. It has a story mode broken out in terms of how you can play, or a challenge mode. It also has a secret rules section on the right-hand side of this page, which I'm not going to show, as you're not supposed to read it unless you're instructed to do so, so we'll keep that secret. Here is a look at two of the character sheets for two of the characters included inside of this prototype, which I'll be using in some capacity during my playthrough series. We have a candle maker here on the left and a cell sword on the right. And that flavor text continues on the opposite side of each page as well. Next up, we have the Tainted Grail Kings of Ruin save sheet. It is double-sided, so we'll show you both sides of this. There's also a section here saying not available in the demo because, well, this isn't fully fledged. Again, it's just a snippet of the gameplay. We have the exploration journal here on the left, coil-bound as well. In typical Awakened Realms fashion around Tainted Grail, we have a beautifully laid out exploration journal, even in its prototype phase with illustrations inside, as well as a whole bunch of narrative based on decisions and choices you'll make as you go through your journey. I'm not going to show anything more than just this right here, as I don't want to spoil anything further. These are just the beginning entries of the exploration journal, and again, you won't see or necessarily do all of them as you play through it. Here's a look at the thickness of this exploration journal in its current prototype form. It is encompassing everything for chapter number one currently. 
Inside the box, we have all kinds of cards, and don't worry, the final version will not have elastic bands on the cards in any way, shape, or form. This is just, again, a prototype, so everything here is rough around the edges, and there's no concern around bending or scratching of anything here. So we got all kinds of cards to go through. I'm going to thumb through a number of them here. I will do my best to avoid showing anything that has to do with the major flavor or narrative of the game to avoid spoilers, but I'm going to show you some of the cards inside of here. For those of you that are familiar with Tainted Creole, you'll be very familiar with what you see here, most likely. And then, of course, there'll be a bunch of you that are seeing this kind of stuff for the first time. It's also worth mentioning I've taken the miniatures out. We'll take a look at those at the end of the video. First thing I want to show you here is a bag full of dice, as well as some trackers and some health markers, things of that nature, all in a pile. The prototype also includes, as you're familiar with with the original Tainted Grail, a whole bunch of translucent cubes of different colors. Now we get to take a look at the character boards for the prototype characters that were included in mine. We have two here in this case. One on the left, one on the right. You'll see these are recess boards, so you have lots of availability to drop cubes into different areas here and ensure that they stay there when the board gets shuffled around or bumped, especially in these stat columns here for energy, health, and terror. And if you're familiar with Tainted Grill and how it operates and works, you're going to be right at home with how this is all structured and laid out. You've got abilities to the right of the character artwork as well. A small but very nice touch on the back of each of these character boards is some artwork too. These are much nicer than the original prototype for the original Tainted Grail that I received. These may be upside down now as I flip them over. Here is a relatively thick deck of secrets, which I'm absolutely not going to show in any way, shape, or form. We might go through a number of these as we go through my Game Found Preview series, but I will not be showing any of these just in case I'm spoiling anything further into the story than I'd like to. This is a deck that I will show you. It has purple encounters. It also has green and blue. So we'll start with the blues and work our way down here. Just going to show you each of these. These are things that we could encounter out in the wild. Here we have some advancement pool cards specific to combat for one of the heroes here. And also some diplomacy ones as well. Same goes for this deck as well for the opposite. The same goes for this hero as well with the combat cards first. And then a number of diplomacy cards. Now we check out some combat specific cards. We have two decks of these. I'll go through the first one right now. This is the second one. Here we have a deck of chapter-specific cards, which will be unveiled as we go through the playthrough, so I won't be showing these here. Now we can check out some of the hero decks in regards to diplomacy cards. You'll see the hero name at the very top. These are diplomacy cards that states on the very back of them. And the other hero as well. The prototype also includes a whole bunch of random events, which of course are random and are varying between good things and bad things. I'm not going to go over every single card here, but it's full of all kinds of different things that could potentially occur on our journey, so I won't show everything in this deck, but you get a good gist there. This deck here is full of Tainted Grail location cards that you'll be going through as you journey through Kings of Ruin. There's a whole bunch of them. I'm not going to show you every single one of them, but I'll show you a few. The artwork on them is always beautiful, and they all tie together. You lay them out on the game table and move through them, flipping them over, interacting with them. A whole bunch of things can happen as you go through your narrative journey. We'll be seeing a lot of how these cards work in action during the preview series. There are cards inside the box that relate to going insane as well as dying. There are a number of these. I'll keep them secret in case, well, that actually happens. 
There are two packs of mini cards inside the prototype. One is labeled as secrets, very much like the standard size cards ones I showed you earlier. We're gonna keep those secret as they're mentioned that way because those are gonna be specific things that will come up as we journey through the playthrough. The item deck, however, I will ruffle through here and show you what's inside this deck, starting off with the Runewood armor here. So we'll take a close up look at this one and we'll move through everything in here. Now my thumb might get in the way, but I'll do my best to try to avoid that so you can see what kind of items are in this one. With all the game components now out of the way, we're moving towards the miniatures. I want to make mention of the fact that I did skip over a couple decks of cards and, of course, didn't show you the entirety of the Exploration Journal. Some of these things are going to come out as part of my Game Found Preview series, which I hope you'll join me for. Don't worry about any spoilers as you watch the playthrough. You will likely not remember the playthrough when the game arrives anyway, and it will really give you a great idea as to how the game flows and operates, plus give you a glimpse at some of those secrets along the way, which should be quite cool. Now, let's focus on the miniatures. I'm going to show you each of these up close. These are all of them that are included inside the box. unboxing so as you've seen here this gives you everything you need in order to get through just chapter number one of kings of ruin so know that the final version of this main box here is going to have more miniatures than what i've shown here and also these are duplicate miniatures crossed as you'll be using these kind of in a similar way to the original tainted grail although i believe there is different mechanics in how they actually work which should be quite interesting to dig into when we get into the playthrough but regardless we'll talk all about that in the upcoming preview series really hope you enjoyed this unboxing giving ideas to everything that came inside the box sharing this with you and hopefully gathering some excitement in terms of the upcoming playthrough as well hope to see you there cannot wait for it and it's going to be quite the journey together as we explore the unknown i have no idea what i'm walking into so thank you guys so much for watching and as always keep on rolling solo